Hey guys, if you're watching because you want to know me, my name is AJ. Welcome back for another episode of Let's Build a mini game, Zombies 2, we're working on at the moment. And uh, it's looking really good. Now all the trees have grown. It looks like a sort of movie set. Um, you know, the rest of the world is all blank and bare, but when you're inside the world, it feels like you're in the middle of a bar, you know, actually in the middle of a forest. Exactly how it's like on movies. You know, you watch movies and you think, oh yeah, they're in the desert. Uh, when in fact they're actually like inside of a studio and it's got like a desert background on it. Uh, really, really sort of cool feeling, you know, that we've been able to create that illusion. But today, I've been working on a hopper clock, okay? We all... I don't, we might not all know hopper clocks. If you don't know what a hopper clock is, uh, basically it's a redstone clock that's actually pretty compact, uh, doesn't really lag the world all that much, and is customizable very, very finely. You know, you can really choose exactly what you want. So, uh, let's show a demonstration first, I suppose. We should have a redstone line coming out. Uh, let's get a dropper here. And for the moment, I'm going to put some jungle wood in there. Now, imagine that this jungle wood is a zombie spawn egg. So, at the moment, every time that it uh, activates, it's firing out a zombie and uh, we have to kill it, okay? Now, obviously, as you can imagine, we can have mul multiple of these, um, d there would be dispensers about. Uh, each one spawning zombies every time that that redstone block goes in front of this redstone dust. But, um... How does it exactly work, AJ? Because it looks very magical, but I don't really understand it. Well, it's actually super, super simple. When you break it down, it looks complicated, and I'm going to explain it, and it's probably going to sound complicated, but it's really not, okay? You just need to sort of break it down a little bit. Inside this hopper, we've got a load of items, okay? In fact, I think there's four or five. Yeah, five items. And what's happening is the... Items are going into this hopper and then into this hopper. They're sort of pointing in towards each other, okay? So they're filtering into this one, then filtering into that one, then filtering into this one because they're pointing into each other. Um, we've got this redstone block and every time it's in front of a hopper, it's locking it, which means that the items inside the hopper can't go out. When the hoppers in the other one leave, it turns the comparator off, turning the block off, turning the redstone off, retracting the piston black back, pulling the redstone block with it, turning the opposite hopper off. I know that sounds really complicated, so we're going to build one, okay? Um, maybe that'll help a little bit. Let's get uh, a block of white something so it's a little bit easier to see. Okay, so what we're going to do first is put down two pistons, one facing one way, one facing the other. Okay, both sticky pistons here with two blocks in between. Place a redstone block on either one of them. It doesn't really matter what one. And place a block behind it, okay? This block is just here so we can place a hopper easily into it. So the hopper is pointing that way into this block. Remove the block, crouch, and place another hopper going into it. So if I put an item in here, as you can see at the moment... Ooh, if I take that away, as you can see, it's now going to be flashing in and out because it's going from this hopper into this hopper, into this hopper, into this hopper, into this hopper, in eternal, like it's <laughs> forever falling. Having the redstone block there means it will go into the one on the left, but cannot leave. It cannot now go into the one on the right because the redstone block is um, locking the, red the hopper, uh, therefore not allowing any items to go out. All we need now is a comparator on either side, followed by a block, and then a piece of redstone dust. And that's it. So what's so good about these hopper clocks, AJ? They, they're compact, they're pretty small, but what, what, why are they so good? Well, you can literally have an infinite amount of lengths of time. If I put one item in there, it's a very fast clock. If I put four items in there, it slows the clock down. In fact, that's nearly a second. We, I haven't got a stopwatch, and I'm not like a genius of, of, of timekeeping. But I would say it's about a second, isn't it? Like, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. It's a little bit slower than a second, I would, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, you can slow it down. You can even put more in there. And 
slows it right down. And obviously you can go crazy. You can put stacks of items in there and it'll take uh, a very long time before it changes. Very, very cool. Okay. Now we can even turn these off. If I place, a, let's speed it up so we can see that it's turned off sooner. How many is in there now? There we go. Okay, so it's, it's, it's uh, a fast clock again now. If I put a lever on here, I flick this lever. This will constantly keep this redstone on. Therefore, the piston will always stay extended, stopping the clock. It also won't harm the clock at all. If I flick this lever back again, uh, it'll, it'll carry on as if nothing was ever wrong. So it's not damaging the clock. You don't have to manually restart. You can just turn it on and off whenever you want. Uh, so that makes things easier. So, what about on our map? How is this going to help with our map? Obviously, we know that we're going to use this to spawn our zombies. But uh, you said that, or AJ, you said that we can speed up the amount of zombie spawning uh, depending on certain things that we do. For example, what I might do is put a door on this room, or on both rooms. And in order to get into the room, you have to hit a button. And if you hit a button, the door opens, but it also speeds up the clock, or maybe adds another clock, therefore making more zombie spawn. Well, that's an easy one to do. We can either have one main clock running, like, the majority of the map, and then we can have another clock on the uh, toilets, and maybe another clock on the reception room. And if you hit one of those buttons, it's going to start that clock, meaning it's going to activate more spawners. That's probably the way that we're going to do it. But there is another way, and maybe you guys will prefer this way for building your own maps. Uh, but this way, I'm just going to sort of build another one next to me here. We're going to put the hopper into there, hopper into there. I'm just building another one here. You see behind it, that one, that one, that one that one and this one will make faster okay so let's just slow this down just by a little bit so we've now got one going slow on the left in fact that's a little bit too slow just so we can see it moving yeah so we've got one on the fast on the right here one going slow on the left but we can actually like choose which one we want activated and I think the easiest way to do that would be to come underneath here and place a torch underneath that block. Okay, that's going to turn that hopper off. And the same under here. If I place a torch under there, that's going to turn that hopper off. Because the torch is powering the block, therefore powering the redstone dust, keeping the piston extended forward. If I now just come underneath here, I'm trying to do this in a really sort of e as easy to understand as I possibly can. But if we have redstone coming out here. I can now turn these on and off. If I flick that lever, it'll turn both of them on. Okay, so we can see them both moving. I can turn them both off. But we can also do it in a way that it will actually um, invert one of them. If I do that, and I do... What's the easiest way? Could I put that on top of there? Yeah. And then put a lever here. Now we've got the fast clock going, but not the slow clock. But if I flick the lever, it'll now make the slow clock go, but not the fast clock. Okay, very simple redstone, really not complicated, but you've just sort of got to wrap your head around it. That's the, that's the most difficult part. So let's turn all of these off for the moment. There's no point having them on. And uh, we can now start to put down our spawner locations. So let's grab ourselves some dispensers, and I'm going to grab myself... Maybe like a block of diamond or something like that just to let me know where I'm placing these spawners. Probably wouldn't be the most terriblest idea in the world, would it? Um, and we can put these pretty much anywhere. So I think maybe one here. Oh, um, maybe not there. What is that under there? Oh, are we on? I'm on top of a, uh, I'm on top of a lava pit, aren't I? That's where I am. Maybe I should activate these, open them up, and then I know where they are. But by the way, the lever won't stay there. That will be hooked up to a clock as well. Okay. Uh, looks like I've got a little bit of a redstone problem with one of these. Hmm. 
else going on here? It might have just been a glitch. It looks like it's. it might have been actually just a glitch. Mm-hmm. It didn't do this last episode, did it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was just a glitch. Maybe it auto-saved just at the wrong time. Okay, so now they're open. We can't accidentally go into the wrong places. Let's get a zombie spawner somewhere here. I can't have it there. There you go. Right there, then. Perfect. And I'm going to put... No, I can't have it there. You can't have them next to the other redstone. It's going to make things really awkward otherwise. Uh, we're going to have that one like that. I'm going to put a diamond block just above it, just so I know when I look down where they are. We're going to have another one here. Like that. Uh, maybe one underneath this tree here somewhere. Oh, yeah, this is one of these hopper uh, things. I need to really keep track of those because I haven't been doing those off camera. And... Uh, I'm going to have to look back into the video to make sure I can see where they all are. That's why I like to cover things up. Maybe I should put uh, an emerald block on top of those ones. And then at least know where they are. Or maybe on the side of it. There we go. <laughs> Just so I can keep track. I think I've got them on the inside here as well. Here's one there. Uh, I should have a spawner in here. Should I have a spawner? Yeah, I don't want people to be stuck in here. So I'm going to put another one down in here. Like that. Just one or two? Let's have two. I'm going to have another one behind the door here. Sneaky one. What is that? Oh, that's the gravel pathway. Uh-huh. Okay, so we've got two inside that house. I've got one, two, three spawners there. I want to have these spread out quite nicely. I want to have one around here. You don't want too many of them. We might end up adding more. We might end up taking them away. It's really hard to tell. Let's have one. Can't have it there. I'll move it over a little bit. Right there. Like this. And put those down in there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to want one at the front of this campsite somewhere. Like this. Now we need to we need to remember that there is a cap, there is a limit on how many zombies that we can spawn. So there's not much point putting dispensers everywhere. In fact, there's no point putting dispensers anywhere. If you put dispensers anywhere, you're just creating more lag uh, on the world. Uh, this isn't going to be a completely lagless world, obviously, uh, but we can sort of help by not spamming them absolutely everywhere. It's going to hit the limit relatively quickly, and when it hits the limit, no more are going to be able to spawn. So there's not really much point having a, or, or hitting that limit if possible. Somewhere over here, we can fit another one. That'll do lovely. This is actually a really good one because this one is sort of defending this uh, special end one that we have there so that's a really good spot for it and i should probably have one behind this caravan yeah somewhere around here if i can just make sure there's yeah i've got plenty of room there beautiful i'll be able to see when i'm down below as well where these are because i put i've pillared them up with diamond blocks as well because i'm smart okay on the inside i want at least one spawner in here uh, in each side. So I'm going to have one spawner there. And I'm going to have one spawner there. Uh, the spawners, by the way, guys, just, just so you know, I don't think you guys um, don't realise, but these diamond blocks will not stay there. Okay? <laughs> I think you all understand that anyway. But just in case, they're only there for my reference at the moment so I don't lose or forget one of them. Or something silly like that. They're only there so I can see if I if I see a diamond block, I've know I've I know I've missed one. That's all it is. Okay, so there's all the back. We're gonna want to have some out on the road here. Maybe just three of them. We'll have one there. One here, and one at the end there. Okay, I think that's all the spawners that we're going to need. Okay, I don't think that we're going to really need any more of them. We'll have to see. We're going to have to see with the balancing um, before we really make up our minds. 
Uh, what I am going to have to do, though, is around these dispensers, I might have to block off, like, with blocks up on either side. Because I'm not sure if the zombies, if the dispensers will spawn them down here or up above. I don't know the exact logic of them. So that's a fun part of, ex fun bit of experimenting that we're going to have to do. But, let me, uh, let me get, like, maybe a couple of these wired up. And I shall be back, okay? Okay. Tink. I've got, I think I've got them all hooked up. I was just sort of flying around underneath here. I don't think I've missed any. This redstone is horrible as well. I haven't really organized it at all in straight lines. I should, but I'm, I can't, I, I can never stick to that kind of thing. I just can't. So, if I put a couple of items in here. That should be activating them all. Now, all we need to do now is go above. And, uh, and test, make sure that we've got them all, and what ones do fire, we'll cover up, and what ones don't, uh, we shall um, put a diamond block back there so we know. Okay, beautiful. Now, um, actually, actually, I should probably, I can do it by sound, can't I? I should be able to hear them, but I should probably put zombies in them, shouldn't I? And make sure that they do spawn above the ground. Yeah, not like that. We don't want that to happen. Now, where'd he go? <laughs> uh, let's get my sword back. We don't want that to happen. Hopefully, I can fix that. It never used to do that. And I'm sure... That I can stop that from happening. I really hope. Let's um, just turn that off for a minute. So I'm going to put another two in there. I'm going to cover that up. And I'm going to see what happens this time. Okay, again, he died in it. Whenever you're ready. What if I put blocks around here? Hello, phone. Oh, I'm special. Someone loves me. Hmm. That's really annoying. That's really, really annoying. I'm going to ask you guys for some help here. Because I want them to spawn up the top. And on here on console, we don't have access to actual mob spawners we can change you can actually change on console now what the spawners spawn if you do find a spawner if you go into creative and you click on the spawner with a mob it'll change it to that one so you can have gas spawners creeper spawners uh, cow spawners whatever you want but you need to find the spawner in the first place currently you can't actually get a spawner from the creative menu i have no idea why they should really put that in but maybe you guys can help me out on how to actually make them spawn on the surface I suppose at the moment the only option that I can think of is actually to put the dispenser on ground level the only problem with that is that it makes it obvious where the zombies are spawning and I don't want that I want the zombies to be at least a little bit more hidden I want to have them um, sort of appear out of nowhere although they're going to be coming from specific spots I want them to just appear I don't want them to actually be visible on the surface like uh, like that I don't really want that when you're wandering around I want to have grass there but maybe that's our only option I shall uh, I shall let you guys um, maybe give me some ideas on that now uh, we've got down the locations for all of our potions that's a really easy thing for us to put in we've also got our secret enchantment table hooked up to our piston yeah, which is all ready to go. It just needs to be hooked up to the uh, main main clock. Do we hook up? What clock? It might have its own clock, that. Yeah, that needs its own clock. We've got the Ender Pearl ones, or, or the Eyes of Ender ones. These ones are going to be our special items. These are going to be diamond armor. There's only, I think, four of them, did we say, on the map? Um these don't need any clock to them these are just redstone with the dispenser once you put it in there bang it gives you one piece of diamond armor 
but what one it gives you is uh, unknown. You might get really unlucky and get four sets of boots. You might get really lucky and get one of each. Um, who knows? That's what I want to do with that, though. And then we've also got the hopper ones that if you feed in... Uh, someone said uh, iron. Instead of zombie flesh, which was our original idea, what about using iron ore? Uh, uh, yeah, no, iron... Um, ingots sorry because obviously some zombies can drop iron ingots they are rarer but i actually sort of like that idea and if we drop an iron ingot into this it'll then give you a piece of iron armor or iron weapon iron sword or iron iron armor one or the other of those so they don't need any clock what does need to run on the main clock we need all the spawners running on the main clock we need a way to maybe even speed up the clock for when you activate other areas and we need a clock for the enchantment but that's a really easy one in fact we can do that this episode we can do that right now let's have i might even have enough space actually in this little hole here who knows we'll grab these grab those i like grabbing a nice white block for it but uh, I want it nice and sort of compact, if possible. Uh, no, we should be fine. Uh, right there. That one. That one. No, I can do it over one. There, there. That one. That one. That one. Comparator. Comparator. Block. Redstone. Redstone. Block. That shouldn't play around with that at all. We should. Yeah, I can't see that that messing up with that. We can now stick an item in here. Let that start ticking away. And then all we need to do is get this piston to react to it. So let's have maybe a torch. That'll close it up. And then all we need to do is get this block here to change. In fact, I could, don't need that, do I? I could have it like... Oh, that's pretty neat. Look at that, like a little weave around. Yeah. Opens up. Closes. Obviously, we want this really, really slow. What I might do is put a stack in. I don't know exactly... Oh, was... Ugh, got it. How, um, how long does a stack take to go through? I grab a stack of it. Let's just see. So where we're back. Ooh, I fell in lava. I would have died. See, that's how good those lava pits are. They're perfect. Um, let's just see how long it takes. We're fighting zombies and stuff. We don't want it to open up too often. We want this to be, sort of be a rare occurrence for something that you really want to take advantage of while it is open before it closes up again. This is... Oh, there we go. Now it's open. Um, this is going to be the worst lava pit, man. I can see so many people falling in that waiting for this... Uh, enchantment to open battling off things and then oh they fall in there yeah man that's gonna get so many people okay and then that'll stay open for a whole stack's worth and then we'll close up i actually really like that idea because when it opens up everyone's gonna be like oh it's open the enchantment's open everyone's gonna crowd around here to try and get their stuff enchanted hey did that actually stop me from enchanting when that closed in front of it that might have if you guys enjoyed the episode hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe that's all we've got time for this episode Bye.